Hi all, and welcome back. We are in the thick of the action, ready to race the pedals of the satellite dish. If you are enjoying this adventure alongside with me, why not hit those like, subscribe buttons, but enough of that. Let's interact. See, we can't be very sneaky and get a quick kill there. Or two quick kills. No, you won't. See if we can do this. So far, so good. Help me out, brothers. Let's see if we can do this. Some supplies. The Emperor protects. Oh no. This could potentially be a very bad place to be in. Guys. A little help here. not gonna do it we need clean out some more here my lord we cannot use the guns until we raise those petals okay let's try again shall we Oh, so there's another level. Of course there is. Going up top. Reloading. Yeah, okay, so I am kind of out of ammo for that. Resupply. 
Oh, wow. secured.
restocking. Munition secured. The guns are ready! Use the terminal to begin targeting! Woo! Unleash the cannon, destroy the hive ship with the power of anti aircraft batteries. Lieutenant, Captain Akaran has new orders for you. Very well. Where is Elliot? The enemy tried to smother us. We got separated. By the time we had slain the attackers, Elian was dead. Something put a hole clean through his helmet. I should have been with you. I only wish he had lived to see that hive ship burn. I fought beside Elian for two decades. He could not have been defeated by Hormigans. There are creatures more deadly than Hormigans down there. You should not have let our squad be divided. He is gone, Sergeant. Duty is all. I do not forget my brothers so quickly. Have a little tension already? I think he is coming from a good place. He actually cares about his brothers. And for all of us who've been through the first game, we know that loyalty can make for a very sticky situation. What do we have here? Interact. Alright, so as mentioned, we are doing this on veterans, so that's probably why some situations get very sticky. Uh, okay, battle map. The battle... Large map serves as the center of operations. Select the plan to start a mission. The current mission is marked with a yellow directive marker. Finished missions are also available to replay. Game modes. Changing the game mode allows you to switch to operations and eternal war game modes. Playing these modes before finishing the main campaign could reveal spoilers for the campaign story. We will not be doing that. So here we have the operations. Operations is a PvE game mode centered around auxiliary missions of combat squads Talasa and Viridian. And what's this? Eternal War is the PvP game mode. Okay. So yeah, quick look at those, but we will be focusing very much on the campaign here. Um, so we have Kadaku. Avarax and Demerium not available, not available, so yeah. Continue. How oh, very cool. So, this is very much the hub now. Okay, nothing more to say. Yes, we don't really know where the Primarch is at. 
and we are talking about Reboot Williman, who is the Emperor's stand-in. Lieutenant, I was informed you arrived with Lord Kalga. Did you fight with him on Vigilus? I've read through those battle reports more than a hundred times. A masterful defense. My duty kept me busy elsewhere. You have an unusual service record. That is my good fortune. I want a scout recon of that position. Captain, get over here. Captain, I have the Mechanicus on Vox. They can wait. This is Nozick Beta 12, the Mechanicus Archmagos. He should have been aboard this ship an hour ago, but he refuses to leave Kodaku without some data from his lab. He's currently in this Imperial Guard base. His facility is here. The enemy is closing in. That base will be overrun imminently. Nozick is a high-value asset. Get that data and get him out. The mining facility. If we rupture the staging tanks, Direct the flow into the valley. We can ignite the fields around the base. Boil them in Prometheum. I'll give you command of a small team to hit the staging tanks. Three men. That's all I can spare. Brief them immediately. Yes, Captain. Retrieve Mechanicus data. We are Astartes. Titus Delirio. Make ready to depart. Standing by. That's a very quick break, if you can call it that at all. <laughs> well, well. Lieutenant Titus. We are told you have need of us, brother. My squad must recover data from a Mechanicus research facility in Sector 41A. A large enemy swarm threatens to overrun both that facility and an Imperial Guard base to its east. You will sabotage a Prometheum refinery to delay their advance. We will not fail you, Lieutenant. Let us burn the Xenos filth. Time is short. I will brief you on descent. Brother, Magos Gallio wishes to see you in the armory. Noted. Yeah, that could be cool. Maybe we'll get some upgrading. If you have not been issued a pyre blaster for this task, then get one from the armory immediately. We must burn any biohazards clinging to the fuselage before the flight crews conduct maintenance. I like how they have a weirdly sort of normal day going here. Yours is a face I have not loved in quite some time, Titus. You requested my presence. How are you acclimating to your new status? I have no complaints. Intriguing. Predictions would determine a point nine probability that you would. I have pressing duties, Magos. Very well. Engage the armory terminal. I will see that you are suitably equipped for your mission. Customize your war gear, now we're talking. Indicate your desired war gear, and the armoring station will handle the outfitting procedure. Though much has changed since we last met, all this will remain familiar to you. The Omnisire blessed us with clear sightedness from the beginning. We offer blessings to this machine, that it may serve you just as it serves him. May he be blessed, whoever he is. Might be the Emperor? Or the machine spirit? There is that thing with the tech priests and the Astartes, but we'll get into that some other time. Okay, what do we have? Armoring Hall. Utilize the Armoring Hall to customize your Space Marine's weapon loadouts. Return in periodically to update your current loadout and discover new weapons. It's highly recommended. Armoring Hall. View primary, sidearm, and melee weapons here to find out their characteristics or pick another weapon. Find information about your current Space Marine's abilities here. Okay. 
Temporarily increase attack and potential and durability. Yeah, we, we saw that. Oh, that's very nice. So yeah, seeing as I had the, I think the deluxe version of the game, it seems like I have more gold. Is that in? It's basically more gold. My crack's chosen bag. Yeah, exactly. We also have some different guns. That's a solid look. Okay. Armoring Hall. Switch weapons and learn more about them and their unlock criteria. Okay, so we can do things like that. So we have the Bolt Carbine. Oculus Bolt Carbine. Melter Rifle. Auto Bolt Rifle. And the Bolt Rifle. Not available. Yeah, only says that it's not available. So we have to return. Oh, that's the sniper. Okay. Plasma pistol. And heavy. We march for Macrag. So, yeah, the Ultramarine's homeworld is called Macrag. And it used to be part of a 500 world empire under Reboot Willman called, I think it was Ultramar or something like that. But yes, Macrag is the homeworld. Moderate speed melee weapon. That's just a big old knife. Thunderhammer and the power sword. Nice. Okay. The war gear selection seems incomplete. This armory is comprehensive, but available options are those recommended for the current mission. Very well. My thanks, Magos. Galio will suffice. We know each other well enough for that. Yeah, I think we'll stick with that for now. We don't really know what we need. Proceed to the launch bay. Talking about Marnius Calgar. I think he's the. Before the return of the Primarch, he was the big Han show in the Ultramarines. You leave on a mission of vital importance. The battlefield below leaves no room for the slightest error of judgment. I'm of clear mind and purpose. May the directives of our beloved Primarch guide your every action. I shall follow your progress closely. I will reflect on your words, Chaplain. But for now, duty calls. Yeah, so I think... Here we go. Operations. The next operation requires the combined efforts of two squads. A separate combat squad of space marines will provide tights with a diversion. Find out. Find out. How their story unfolds while playing the Inferno Mission in Operations game mode. How oh, very cool. Proceed with the Inferno Mission via the battle map. So we can do that afterward. Yeah, the chaplains look pretty cool. And have a very doom and gloom 
look to them. But they are the spiritual custodians of the Astartes, so yeah. Severance Kadaku. Archmagus and Nasik Beta 12, a senior member of the Duchess Mechanics, must be evacuated from Kadaku. However, he refuses to leave without data from his research facility. Retrieve the data and evacuate before Tyranids overrun the position. Archmagus, for the last time, we must get you off world! The assessment equals in all in the ignorance. We'll be overrun in minutes! By the Omnis, I will cease interruptions. Major. Ah, Akron finally sends me what I asked for. Archmagos, it is imperative you evacuate immediately. Devoid will not leave without the data. Relocate to my facility. I will instruct server box. Make ready to leave. This will not take long. Major. I have a second unit working on a theoretical that should buy you some time. My lord! I've lost three squads trying to reach that lab. We think something's out there. Noted. The Emperor protects. when we have an update. See that you do. We will never get this planet stench out of our armor. Compared to your usual aura, it is an improvement, brother. Deeply amusing. Well, I mean, it was kind of amusing. Anyway, with this splendid vista in front of us, I think it's time to end off this part. But we'll be back. Oh, yes, we will. Thank you all for following along in this Space Marine 2 adventure. I hope you are enjoying this as much as I am. If you are, why not hit those like and subscribe buttons and we will press on soon enough.